Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. And Australian Open Dream Final will be the end of a maiden major and the world number one ranking for the victor. World number one, Simona Halep, and number two, Caroline Wozniacki, will be squaring off for the sixth time in Saturday's Oz Open Final with history and legacy on the line. Simona Halep showed steely determination and courage, saving two match points to edge 2016 champion Angelique Kerber in an epic thriller that will be remembered as one of the most thrilling Melbourne matches in years. The 27-year-old Caro has won four of six meetings with the 26-year-old Simona, including a 6-0-6-2 thrashing en route to the WTA Finals Championship in Singapore last fall. Similar styles meet in the title match. Both are very quick counterpunchers, possessing two of the best two-handed backhands in the game. Both have saved match points, staging dramatic comebacks to reach this final. Both are exceptional athletes, fitness freaks, and accurate returners. And both are hoping the third time is the charm. Simona and Caroline are each playing for their very first Grand Slam titles in their third major finals. It is a clash of two of the fastest players in the sport. Simona says getting off first is going to be the key. Caroline, who has found peace and joy off court with her engagement to former NBA star David Lee, says that her game really has matured. The 5'10 Wozniacki is about four inches taller than Halep and owns a longer reach, which gives her more leverage on serve and the ability to dig shots out of the corners. Halep's forehand, though, is more versatile than Wozniacki's. She can crowd the baseline, take the ball a bit earlier, and has sharpened her transition game, working with coach Darren Cahill. This is a monumental match for both players who've been tagged as the best women yet to win a Grand Slam title. One of them is going to lose that label on Saturday. Simona has an 11-0 record into the final, including sweeping both the singles and doubles titles in Shenzhen earlier this month. If Halep wins, she will retain the world number one ranking and become the first Romanian woman to claim the Australian Open. If Caroline Wozniacki wins, she would regain the number one a full six years after she rose to the top spot, which would be the longest gap at stints at the top since the computer rankings were introduced way back in November of 1975. After falling to Maria Sharapova in the 2014 Roland Garros final and to Yelena Ostapenko in a fierce three-set French Open final last June, Halep says her major dream is now within reach. An intriguing subplot of this match. Both ladies have saved match points to reach their first Australian Open finals. Caroline fought off a pair of match points and a 1-5 deficit in the decider, surging through six straight games to rally past Yana Fett in the second round. Simona denied three match points, subduing Lauren Davis in a gripping three-hour, 45-minute thriller. Four women have gone on to win the Australian Open after surviving at least one match point during the tournament. Monica Seles did it back in 1991. Jennifer Capriotti famously fought off four championship points, stopping Martina Hingis in a scorching 2002 final. Serena Williams saved two match points in the 2003 semifinals against Kim Kleisters and went on to defeat her sister Venus in the final. And Angelique Kerber denied match point in 2016 and went on to shock Serena Williams in the final. Two baseline warriors play for a maiden, major, and the number one ranking. What a way to launch this Grand Slam season. So you've heard from the finalists, now it's your turn. Post your pick for the winner with the final score, and we'll see who calls it right. Enjoy the final, everybody, and we'll see you next time.